Hi, I'm happy to share a new thought with you. You see, I'm excited. I'm excited because I had an interaction with my coach this morning and, you know, it just confirmed some thoughts I've been having in a few weeks and I would like to share just one of the secrets with you. You know I love you and I'd like to share some thoughts with you as soon as I get the chance to do so. Um, I'd like to share with you on what I call staying within your niche or staying within the boundaries of your niche. What is a niche? A niche is simply put a specialization. It means that I am a specialist or an expert in this subject matter and I would like to make profit from this subject matter. That's what it means to have a niche. And one of the things that we were not told when we started our practice in Nigeria was to stay within your niche. We were told to try to do everything. We were told that you needed to be very versatile and very wide so that you could make as much money as you could and you could appeal to many people as possible. But in my work, I've come to find out that staying within your niche, growing your niche, and becoming known for something is actually very rewarding, very profitable. It's actually very rewarding. I'm saying that again deliberately. From experience, I have made more money because I've been known for something, and I have gained more traction because I've been known for something. And now people can comfortably call me for that niche. So this is my first advice. Identify what your niche is and grow it and stay there. How do you identify what your niche is? What works for me is that I ask myself deep down, what exactly do you want, sir? What exactly do you feel comfortable doing? What exactly would you want to do effortlessly and be happy doing it and feel joy doing it? And yeah, you look for the profit, you look for the pay, but beyond the pay, let's assume the check has to be delayed or the check may not come or you'll just be, you'll just be told thank you. What would you still do and still feel really fulfilled? You know there is this warmth in your heart when you do something you really love. That probably will tell you what your niche is. So that helps you to identify what your niche is. How do you stay in your niche? I have learned that you can stay to pursue the people you want to really serve. One area about customer service that I've understood is that you need to be exact about who your customer is, strategically find where they are, pursue them with every creativity, creativity with emphasis, and continue to serve them. You will just realize that you are known for that niche and your own customers will identify that you are serving them. And that way, you will find that over time, you become an authority for them. And then they begin to refer you and create more markets for you. That way, you are growing in your niche, enjoying your niche, enjoying your customers, staying with them, fulfilling their mandate, and they are giving you more businesses. So, I would just like to summarize. First, find your niche. Do what you love. Stay loving what you do. That thing that gives you warmth in your, in your heart, do it. Learn about it. Become the master of it. Become absolutely fabulous in it. Number two, find your customers. It's not everybody that you can serve. Don't be busy looking for all customers. Be busy looking for your customers. So find who you want to serve. Stay true to them, give them tools, share knowledge with them, expand their capacity, make them feel loved, wanted, needed. Let them know you are in love with them. Remember, customer service is a love affair. Number three, be an authority in your field and don't be ashamed to charge for your service. My coach told me this morning, he said, Sam, don't be ashamed to charge for your service. If you want to hit seven figures, don't be ashamed to demonstrate that you deserve to be paid seven figures. So I'm leaving that tip with you also. Don't be ashamed to demonstrate that you deserve the figures you ask for. I'd like you to take these notes, think on them, expand on them, 
and be the best that you can be. If you have not signed up to join us at Sam Obafem Behavioral Change Academy that kicks off in nine days, this is an express invitation. Go to samobafemi.com slash subcar, register, and become one of the pioneer certified emotional intelligence experts in Nigeria. You can also join the first class of anger management certifications or join the first class of fear mastery certifications. You see, there's nothing you cannot do. You just need to master your fear. We want to make you become a professional at fear mastery. Soccer is the academy you shouldn't miss. We resume in 10 days time. And this is an exclusive invitation. If you like any information about joining us, please call 080-7361-0884 or email sopka at samobafemi.com. I am Samobafemi, and I love to listen to you. Talk to you again later. Bye.